a couple of years ago, we agreed this public statement and determination. <coughs> the Bishops Conference recognizes that fair wages are essential to the common good of society. In accordance with Catholic social teaching, and as part of its mission to support the poor and the vulnerable, the Bishops' Conference fully endorses the principle of the living wage and encourages Catholic organisations and charities in England and Wales to work towards its implication. I can say in detail uh, this organisation, the Bishops' Conference, certainly pays the living wage to all its employees. I can say for certain that every person on the payroll of the Archdiocese of Westminster is paid the, the, the living wage as agreed by, the, as established by the Living Wage Foundation. And in fact, anyone living in London is paid also the London living wage, which is, I think, just over nine pounds an hour. That's everybody on our payroll. Part of our parish audits are always to look at how anybody who else who is working in a parish and who may not be on the diocesan payroll, how, at what level they are being paid, and to enhance that to the living wage level. Now, of course, the Living Wage Foundation, and therefore the project or the, the campaign of the living wage, is more complex than that, because it also asks of those who support it to ensure that all suppliers are also paying the living wage. And I know that has been pursued here through the Bishops' Conference, so that the suppliers of services here uh, are pursued over the level of remuneration of their employees. In the diocese, we're pursuing this, but it's not simple. So, for example, we have over 300 school projects at the moment. Now, to try and ensure that everybody who is employed by somebody else, but supplying one of our schools is on a living wage is difficult. But that's what we are pursuing. Um, you know, we're citizens, we're, we've been called to play a part in this society. It's, it's a constant call right through the New Testament to, to be good citizens. And uh, I would say, stir yourself. I know it's hard going. I know often the level of debate that comes across, especially in the snippets of headlines and sometimes social media, is much more about playing the man than actually playing the ball, getting involved in the issues. But, but we have to do it. And we have these 10 weeks in which to try and raise the game and to try and make sure that some of these debates do address the crucial issues 